All right, okay. All right, girls. Now we look at the inhalation and exhalation process of the fish. Okay. Now you've learned before, uh, in the previous lesson, that the this area here is called the operculum, the flap here. When you lift up, you are going to see the gills. Okay. So now, how does water enter the mouth, and how does it exit the mouth? So actually, it is the water which contains oxygen dissolved oxygen enters through the mouth and actually exits through the operculum so it's like a one-way uh, one-way uh, road a uh, one-way street for the water okay so let's look at inhalation first okay now first of all the mouth is open during the inhalation process the floor of the buccal cavity is lowered okay buccal cavity like like again like the buccal pharyngeal cavity for the frog is something like the jaw okay something like the jaw so when the floor of the buccal cavity is lowered it actually will increase the space inside here okay this space is called the 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 buccal uh, cavity so when it is uh, lowered so the volume here will increase and when the volume increases the pressure will decrease okay your pressure will decrease you will have a low pressure here so when you have a low pressure here compared to outside which has a higher pressure so the water will flow into the uh this part of the mouth okay so the buccal cavity has a reduced pressure and therefore water moves into the mouth okay and after that we are going to look at the exhalation so water has already arrived here so now what happens after that it has not actually have any diffusion yet because it has not reached your filaments so now the next thing is the air now the water has to be pushed through pushed through the gills so how do we do that okay first step is the mouth closes so after the water enters the mouth the mouth will close and the buccal uh, cavity is raised the floor of the buccal cavity is raised raised so that means here the the volume decreases and the pressure increases so you have high pressure and now the mouth closes so when the mouth closes there's no way for the air or the water to move out of the mouth the only way is to move backwards the only way to move is here through the gills so the water enters through the gill lamella and gaseous exchange happens between the blood okay and the water through diffusion so after that all right at the same time the operculum muscles relaxes and the opercular cavity becomes smaller so you see this one moves in so again also increases the pressure here the water is now pushed out okay behind here so this is where the water is leaves the mouth uh, leaves the the space here so the pressure now becomes higher all right so because of the the space here becomes smaller so the pressure becomes higher and this high pressure causes the water to flow through the operculum opening and out which is behind the operculum so here i have a summary of the process so you start with the mouth being open or closed okay and the action actually happens at the buccal cavity the floor of the buccal cavity is either lowered or raised and then what happens to the operculum opening they open or closed and then talk about the volume when volume increases the pressure decreases okay and when the volume decreases the pressure increases and the resulting factor is the resulting uh, happening thing is you have the water either leaving uh, entering entering the mouth or leaving the opercular opening so this is how you explain your inhalation and exhalation for the fish okay so remember the water comes in through the mouth from the front but it actually exits through the operculum at the back